Hi. It's been a couple weeks. How are you? Let me get that phone shadow out of my face. Hold on one second. What was I listening to? Where have I been? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> That's not true at all. Of course, I'm going to share everything with you. <sighs> um, I went to jail. <laughs> you know, yeah. when you're in spirituality and you're getting to know your ancestors and you're getting to know the God inside of you, right? You have to be careful what you ask of it. Because uh, I kept saying, I, I need a vacation. I'm burnt out. I'm, I need a vacation. Well, two years ago, there was a, what we call in French a bris de condition, which uh, I thought my lawyer had already taken care of. But because I never responded, of course, she had no choice but, you know, to. Uh, brrr. So the cops came. And they were very nice, very polite. And um, they're like, hey, bro, you got like uh, something we got to take care of. <laughs> so politely, I went in, did my fingerprints, all that stuff. And then uh, found out basically that uh judge thought I was running, right? <laughs> and... Um, Decided to hold me in a cell for three weeks. But. <laughs> this is the good part about how when God comes into your life and basically shows you what you need to see, right? And the sun's just coming up. That's beautiful, man. So I stopped smoking for three weeks. Stopped smoking weed for three weeks. Didn't drink any alcohol for three weeks. And I went deep. Because there's nothing more comforting than when you're trying to take a nap and a guy takes a shit about two feet away from you. That's compassion. You know? But, uh... It was worth it. Because it buried my past. I'm so grateful for that. Now it's new ventures, new beginnings. And I needed to share this with you guys because uh, I'm taking like major steps. I'm getting off of Facebook. I'm getting off of, you know, everything that doesn't serve me. And basically, Facebook did not serve me at all. If you guys want to go look at it, I've got a bunch of stuff that I... My whole wall is almost like a fucking scripture. And if you're a little bit like me... And you're speaking your truth. <laughs> you're not going to get any, any likes. You're not going to get any shares. You're not going to get any support. Not from Facebook anyway. Facebook is like the... Uh, how can I say this politely? <sighs> Facebook is so corrupt. That instead of partaking with the co-creators of this world... They steal, their, they steal their identity, they steal what they create, and push it towards marketers. I know some people really close to me that actually are doing the same thing. They think I don't know, but man. When you're with God, you let God handle them with spirit. I can definitely vouch for a lot of people that have been doing black magic on me are cloudy. They can't see anything anymore. They're dumbed down. They're dumbing themselves down. And one thing uh, Spirit wanted me to say today is that the people that talk about other people, about certain problems, that the other person's going through, 444. That's what they're going through. But they're too, how can I say this? Proud. I call it stupid. They're too proud 
to just go in and forgive themselves. And it blows my mind because there's a lot of people that I, I, I've met over the years, right? I've tried to help, I've tried to help, I've, I've tried to help until I figured out that all these people were basically put in my path to block my abundance because they could see me before I could see me and my potential. Well, that ain't gonna happen no more. <laughs> so, for those of you that think you're my friend, I'm not doing these videos to be your friend. I'm doing these videos so you wake the fuck up and take your power back, 555. What? So, there's going to be another video coming in later in nature. And, um, I think you're going to like it. It's about to get crazy. But not for me. It's all good. <laughs> it's like, when I got out of prison, right, you have to pay the lawyer. You have to, uh, you know, call a police officer uh, for your documents and all this stuff and I'm so grateful because the weird part is the people in prison were treating me better than the people outside in the matrix. They called me the priest. Hmm. I wonder why. Probably because I spit actual truth that your spirit needs. Anyway. I'm not telling you guys anything you don't already know. That That's going to be the basics of this channel. Everything I'm telling you at a DNA level, you know this already. And I'm going to justify it. Because I'm a Libra. That's what I do. <laughs> I've got the Empress energy. In case y'all don't know and think that you're Emperor. Come on, man. Joe Biden. Anyway, oh yeah, uh, news to those people doing dark magic on me. Um, when you're with God and spirit and divinity, see how that aura is? It's Anyway, you get your messages straight from heaven. You don't just like sit in the dark and then like, what was that? I gotta buy bacon. You know, it doesn't work like that. They contact you. You can prepare to receive the message. But what a lot of people don't seem to understand or understand or, you know. Every spell done onto me will bounce back tenfold onto you. And for that, I forgive you. But you can't, you can't, you can't break a spirit that was manufactured by God for a purpose. So that way you could look me in the eye. And as I rise, you will fall. Other than that, I got nothing but love for everybody. But this jealousy bullshit needs to stop. Because you cannot copycat the original. So if anybody's feeling that, You're not alone. You're definitely not alone. They make it seem like you're going to actually be alone for the rest of your life, but it's because the moment you throw them aside, that's where we connect. So remind yourself that if you seem like you're like 
the spiritual strong one in your whole group, you're the royal bloodline. You're the one with the potential. And they know this. 1010. Ooh. I love spirit. It's my best friend. Some people out there in this world think that I am their best friend. No, I am not. Spirit is my best friend. Spirit is my real family. My ancestors with God created me to be here now. And if you can't get that, then you'll never get me and good luck to you. This video is not for you. Other than that, I wish you a bunch of good, good. Wait, let me rephrase that. I, w I just got like a really, yeah. Today I'm going to go take a walk, have a coffee. I'm rejoicing, 11-11. <laughs> because I know who I am. And I'm just here to help. And trust me, if you're not here to help yourself around my presence, you don't stand a chance. You'll never be able to walk through the door. That was a crow in the background. Caw, 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 caw. So, with that said, I wish you the absolute best. And you have to remember, I'm dealing with a God that is also your God. The main kahuna, Mother, Father, Creator, is the most forgiving God. But if you go against His chosen, you're going to reap what you sow. God is a jealous God to His children. If you don't know that, then you're a fucking idiot. That's just truth. Go to a church. A priest will tell you. 12-12. Man. On fire. <laughs> so with that said, I wish you guys an absolute beautiful, beautiful October day. Mm. I stopped for three weeks, but I have to admit, when I was in jail for three weeks, which is not a long time, but... You know, like, let's say if you were in there for like three months, six months, man, I feel you. Three months went really quick for me, or three months, three weeks went really quick, so it was like nothing, right? But in three weeks, you should have seen it, man, from like the outsider to where everyone was trying to get like time with me to just deal with their shit internally. And another big I couldn't believe it. About 95% of all inmates refuse vaccinations. It's like they know something we don't. Hmm. I'm not here to spread messages about fear. I'm not here to get your money. I've got generational wealth only because I went in and got the knowledge from my ancestors, which is in your DNA also. I can show you how to do it. But you have to remember, what works for me won't necessarily work for you. But you have to, you know, put your own twist on it. Make it your own. And I'm willing to help. I'm actually willing to help. That's my job. That's what I'm here to do. Even though a lot of people in my past have tried to, uh, you know, uh, get a job, you know, uh, do what they say. <laughs> Man, look at you now. Look at you now. You still got that job. <laughs> I bet you don't. Well, guess what I have? A foundation with spirit. It's like a lot of people are afraid to ask me that question. How do you do what you do? I worked on it. I worked on what I thought would be best for me and my collective. Has nothing to do with, uh, with pride or ego. It just, I have a nine-year-old son 
And I needed him to know and be very aware that whatever I went through in my childhood does not necessarily have to happen to him. I don't care if he graduates high school or not. I know he's beautiful. You know? You know? It's called unconditional love for a reason. Because there's no conditions. It doesn't, it doesn't work with your condition on it. With spirit, you have to let go everything. Feels good to uh, be back on here. I've missed y'all. I saw on my YouTube page that uh, I got 16 subscribers, almost 17. Wink. <laughs> yeah, that's all I'm going to say on that. But, uh, know that you're blessed. And what really helps me in my day to day, like, uh, just spiritual like these motherfuckers actually think they got something on me you know I'm not hiding from nothing no more and um what, what was I saying oh yeah um unconditional love The moment I found out what it really was, I got a video that I recorded. I was crying like a baby because once I tapped into that state, I could see my ancestors' red star underneath my feet. I could see the divine opening up the sky and I could feel God inside. And I know it was God. Because it showed me the truth of what people around me were doing. And once you're like this, and that unconditional bond with the unknown, everyone doing the black magic, and black magic can be as simple as talking bad about somebody. Get it? This isn't a joke. These words are powerful. Even if you're aware of it or not. That's what when I rise in the, every day, I thank my ancestors from the deepest part of my core. And I thank spirit for manifesting everything I've ever needed in every moment. And of course, I thank my most high, my mother, father, the real creators. And when I meditate, I call upon all my archangels. From Metatron all the way down to Sandoval. I mean, I can name them if you want. This is what happens when you get into a relationship with spirit. They give you names with symbols and colors. And when you meditate, and every breath, thank you spirit, that you take... You feel, you feel the colors and the crystals in your brain, in your penile gland. You connect with these people. My nose is itching. Well, people. Third dimensional beings are people. These are enigmas, entities. To have the same potential we all have to become in God's grace. And the thing I love about the way this whole thing was created is that there's not anyone better. There's not anyone dumber. We all have this potential. Some of it just see. And feel, you know, it's not about the five senses. Once you got that sixth sense, it's not about like, oh, I see dead people. 
<laughs> oh, they're everywhere. Whatever. They're not dead. <laughs> they're more alive than me and you are. I'm just trying to bring that out to the public. Like, death is not real. Your vessel dies, but the person you are operating the whole thing is more alive on the other side than we ever will be on this one. It just went two, two, two. So I'm offering the truth. That's all. I got to blow my nose. But anyway, 16 subscribers. I just deleted Facebook, so I'll have more time to uh, talk to my family, my tribe. Because that's the goal of it, right? Is to find yourself and find your tribe and change the fucking world. So with that said, know that you are love. Feel that you are loving abundance. And make some time for yourself. The only way you're actually going to tap into all these gifts God's trying to give you is by letting go of everyone that you think loves you. It's a test. It's a sacrament. God's just not going to like come down from heaven or your most high is not going to come down from wherever it's from and give you your gifts if you're not willing to take the time to appreciate the blessings in disguise that seem like curses. Anyway, I wish you guys a beautiful day. Thank you for being with me. And the fact that the video views, like, I don't really look at that stuff, but because it was like made for my son, right? But then people started saying, hey, man, I like your videos. You need to keep doing it. So, <laughs> Mo to B. Okay. But, um, thank you guys. Because I know, I like, it does, it's not about the likes for me. It's not about the shares. It's not about all that. It's about putting the information out there. So that way, also, anyone that's on the universe's team knows I'm part of their team. So, one love. And, um, the best way to get in touch with me. I don't have Messenger anymore. I don't have Facebook. I think that is the... In a spiritual war outlook, it's the devil's tool book. You know, for me. It doesn't have to be that way for everybody. I mean, we all have our own universe, right? But what I'm finding out is that most of us in our truth are here to change the fucked up universe that our parents or grandparents or great-grandparents... You think they invented the movie Matrix for, for nothing? It wasn't a movie, it was a documentary. But um, yeah, there's going to be more. Like I'm, my next video, I want to go in depth, in detail about what I found out in my three weeks in prison and why I went to prison. And I will give you all that truth and more in my next video. So with that said... Love your dark. Love your dark. And you will oh so appreciate the light. And again, I don't know nothing. I know a little bit. But most of what I know... You already do too. Namaste. Have a beautiful day. See you soon.